let's talk about what not to say to somebody that has been through sexual assault. Because the people that say the most ruthless things to people that have actually been survivors of sexual assault are the people that have never been through it. So let's talk about it. When a person opens up about what they have been through and they speak their truth about their experience, first of all, you need to understand this, that sexual assault is a very big umbrella term. And it's so much more... There are so many avenues to it than what the logical mind may think. It's not just holding a person down. It's not just, I mean, it's moments where a person could not even realize that they are actually being assaulted in the moment because, and, and they won't even recognize it and awaken to the fact until after everything is over and done with. Let me tell you something. It happens so often because it can really be like under the radar. It can be so covert. But listen. What not to say to somebody is, oh, well, that's not sexual assault because, and then insert your excuse. Because you do not have the right to invalidate somebody else's experience just because you personally don't fully understand what it is. You lack wisdom because you have not gone through it. But if you have gone through it and you're trying to tell somebody that that's not their thing, then baby, the problem is you are trying to shame this other person because you are feeling shame for yourself. And you're not trying to face what you did, so you're going to project that shame onto other people and that's wrong. And another thing is to tell someone, well, you don't want to question, well, why would you put yourself into a situation like that anyway? Why would you go over there? Why would you do this? Why would you do... Listen... People don't go out there and go around people and expect for that to happen. They expected, you know, just a regular situ like a regular encounter with the person. It was the assaulter's choice to take advantage of that person and assault them. And it is not the victim's fault. And for people that want to question why the victim did what they did, you have to understand that predatory people are very manipulative and very cunning in how they fulfill their mission and they are they are moved by power control and fear and when they can invoke fear in a person they can get a person to do whatever it is that they want and the person was in a very traumatic situation so their decision making was not grounded like you wouldn't blame a person that was shot in a drive-by why were you out there it's not their fault that someone decided to open fire you see what i'm saying have more compassion for people. Tell them, I'm very, very sorry that that happened to you, but don't invalidate them.